Hi, welcome back to Flipping Pages, Stirring Sauces. Um, I'm going to be continuing with the relationship series, but um, I wanted to address something. I'm not sure what the title of this is going to be, um, but I wanted to speak um, directly to seven youngsters who have um, contacted me via social media <laughs> in order to date me. <laughs> I guess I should be flattered, but um, yeah, I wanted to speak directly to the seven of you. It sounds to me like um, you're all reading from the same playbook. And um, I guess I should say, <laughs> welcome back to Flipping Pages, Stirring Sauces, Tawada, to um, all of those who have liked, subscribed, shared, and commented. Back to these youngsters. Um, you've all said to me that age is just a number. Age is not just a number. It comes with experience, knowledge, wisdom, and responsibilities. <laughs> You have all expressed that you wish you were older and then would have a chance to date me. Youth is a beautiful thing. Enjoy every moment of your youthfulness. The older you get, the more responsibilities you acquire. By the time you get to be my age, you want to turn t time back to 30. 30 is a very good age. Um, in order to appear young looking, you need to get plenty of rest, eat properly, take care of your skin and that helps with the um, aging process. When I was 13 years old, I couldn't wait to be 15 so I could get my social insurance number and get a job. <laughs> and I did just that when I was 15 years old. I got my social, now you get your social insurance number at birth. But back then, you, um, you had to wait till you were 15 to apply for it. And then once you got it, you could get a job. And I did do that. Then, I, when I was 15, I couldn't wait to be 16 because I could get my driver's license. And I didn't have to get my parents' permission to stay home from school if I didn't feel like going to school. I didn't do that. I, even though, just because you can, doesn't mean you should, and I didn't. Then I couldn't wait to be 18 because I would have some more freedom because the law states that at 18, you're an adult and you can make certain decisions without your parents' consent and, um, so when I was 18 years old, I was living on my own and I was as free as a bird. What did I do with that freedom? I worked, went to school, slept, read books, slept some more. I went dancing once in a while and I lived as if I was still under my parents' roof and under their supervision. So even though I had all this freedom to do what I wanted, I didn't abuse it. Hmm. 
you all work and that is a good thing it shows that you're ambitious and I'm really proud of you guys that um, in this day and age you all have jobs that's a very good thing because there are a lot of people in Jamaica who doesn't have jobs so even at your young age you all have jobs so what you need to do now is find a nice decent ambitious girl who is around your age <laughs> one who doesn't sit at home all made up whose real skin you have no clue what it looks like waiting for you to give her your paycheck and expects you to cook her dinner when you get home from work and <laughs> ask you to wash her clothes while you're washing yours and um, paints her nails while you are cleaning the house no you don't want that type of girl um, I am talking about a girl who works or who is studying or who is doing something to support herself even if she is just selling some fruits on the side of the road or weeding somebody's garden in order to make an income to support herself that's the type of girl you want a girl like that you can build a life with you know the type of girl who if you lose your job and you tell her things are going to be a little rough for the next little while, she says to you, me can't help out, you know. Me have a partner draw come up. Or me get a partner draw. I me put it down for a rainy day. Or one that says, me have a look at savings, you know. So me can't help out. Yeah, you need one of those girls not those ones who go to bed in their makeup because you can't see what they really look like and um, who sits and crosses her legs all day and socialize and gossip and mind other people business no that's not the type of girl I'm talking about you want a girl who is going to stand beside you not one that is in front of you or behind you when you find that girl marry her buy a piece of land together make some babies respect her and ahab her shower her with hahab and from that land you go talk to your great-grandfather your grandfather, your grandmother in the hills of Clarendon, uh, Moko or St. Mary and get some good old fashioned seeds. Yes, you remember um, the thing that we used to call salad, those big tomatoes that shape like a heart. Yes, you need some seeds from that type of tomato. You need to find some of those um, old-fashioned corn. Yeah, people say corn, but you know, say Jamaican a corn, we say. Some Indian kale, some six-week potatoes. You know those sweet potatoes, the little round red ones with the white flesh? I haven't seen those in years. Yeah, you need some of those and some... Um, or a little um, uh, round green skin watermelon. Uh, no, we never call it watermelon. The green, dark green skin melon, and then small and round. And when them burst in the sun, they see them dark, like almost black, and them red, red, red. Need some of that. Get some sweet sap, sour sap, custard apple seed and plant them get some mea plum some june plum some cane some susumba and some of our old-fashioned cucumber cassava 
you know the old fashioned tangerine yes you need some seed from the big soft one them you know with the green skin and just a little bit of orange on them yeah you need some of those you need some banana some plantain some cocoa some dashing some yam and in the words of michael manley grow what you eat and eat what you grow why is that hologram of bill gates buying up all the farmland that he can get his hands on they are now telling americans that they cannot grow their own food fruits are supposed to have seeds you all come from different parts of jamaica right so what you need to do is pepper that island with indigenous fruits and vegetables yeah i told you guys i am older than some of your mothers i am interested in your brains not what is in your pants don't send me any more pictures of your lingams they don't impress me send me pictures of what you're growing that will impress me see i am on a journey and i can't take any of you with me you know that buju bantan song buried alive i can relate to it on many levels i can't claim that i've even been through half of what buju bantan has been through but that is where i've been lately yeah that song i can relate to it because that is where i've been i had a talk with my creator and the person i am supposed to take on that journey i have not yet met and if i've met that person I am not yet aware of their presence in my life. So, I have freed myself from your energies and I have freed all of you from my energy. So, go out there, do what I've suggested. I'm always going to be here if you need advice or you need to talk but i cannot <laughs> and will not be involved with you youngsters no that is not happening so i wish you baruch and shalom